All right, so we're back um, doing a commissioning on a job that we just installed. This is a coiling condenser. As you can see, they had an existing furnace here. We didn't change any of this. Um, what we did is we put in a transition, new coil, new drain pan. We put a flow switch in here. This is for the secondary drain pan. We also put uh, a flow switch here on the, on the coil. This is designed to where, I can get this out, if the water level rises here, it's gonna shut this off. Um, new, new plenum, we're using a different kind of collar, you can't really tell from here. Um, it's a flush collar with a gasket on it to prevent air leaks. Really good job. As you can see, we've got two access panels on this. Um, the ANSI standards for maintenance require, if you clean a coil, to clean it from both sides so just as a standard we've gone to installing two access panels on here so that in the future when we come back to clean it we can clean both the front and the back side what we what we were doing here is we're checking um, static pressure and then you can go in on the blower data on the furnace and adjust the cfms this one was set right it was for 1200 cfms this unit requires 1200 CFM, so it's perfect. And everything seems to be working great on it. We haven't checked the charge outside. That's our next step. First, you want to verify the proper airflow and then go outside and make sure the charge is correct. So it looks good so far. Um, we're going to go out there next and check it out. Um, we do this on every single install. It's important. A, we're warranting this job for 10 years. We want it to work like a champ. No problems, no mistakes, no issues. Um, so when, when we install it, our guys know, hey, quality is expected. When we come back and check it, that same level of quality is inspected and tested, and we know that it's working properly. If there's a problem with this unit, it's gonna be a defect from the manufacturer. This job is installed great. Um, we, we don't expect to have any issues with this.